Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do, we are going to learn how to change the .NET SDK version that we're using in Visual Studio. So to that let me show you a problem that I have um, last week basically. So I was looking for a component for Blazor and I found this. The component that I needed was something to crop a picture. So here they have a demo and I found it super nice. So basically you load a picture and then you can crop it and get the result uh, there, here. So I forked this, um, this repo and then I downloaded it and I tried to compile it. So let me show you my studio. So here I have it. So after I downloaded it, it was targeting Net6, and I have Net6, Net7, and Net5 in my computer. So, but when I try to build it, I get these errors. And I contact the, the repo owner, and he told me that he was not able to reproduce it, and then I realized that it was a problem in my computer. So this is why the problem is happening. If I come here to the console and I check the list of SDKs that I have in my computer, I have five, six, and seven, but the studio will always use the newest one. So even though this is being compiled against Net6, it's using the tooling for Net7. So um, basically I found a way to, to avoid this and you can do it in per project or solution. Um, so the idea is super simple. So I need to compile using this SDK instead of this one. So basically you go to the file system of your solution and I have it in here. And you have to create this file global.json. In this case, I use a score score at the beginning, like underscore underscore at the beginning to, so the Visual Studio doesn't read it uh, to show the problem. So let's rename it back to what it was before. Uh, let me show you the content. So, It's a really simple file. Basically, it's a JSON configuration file where you can set the exact version of the SDK that you want to use, the roll forward behavior, and if you allow pre-releases. So after doing this, um, basically my solution will be compiled against the net 6 SDK, 6.0.400. So now, if I try to compile this again, it will compile and just work. Because this problem is a problem in the preview of the Net7 SDK. So see, uh, the build all succeed. Here and no problem. And I have this because the student doesn't clean the error list. So let's clean this. So this disappeared. And well, it didn't disappear <laughs> at all. Uh, but this is clean and when I reveal everything will be no problem and basically it will run from my computer. So that's the way that you can change the target SDK uh, because it's not only related to the target framework in your uh, project basically is related to the tooling that you have installed in your computer. So that's it for this video. I hope you find this useful. If you have any comments, you can put it in the comment box below this video and see you in the next one.